Hello everybody. Today we will talk about post-hepatic obstructive jaundice. First of all, what is jaundice? Jaundice is also called icterus. Icterus or jaundice is a yellowish discoloration of the skin, the sclera and mucous membranes and is due to hyperbilirubinemia and its accumulation in tissues which are rich in elastic fibers. Where can we look for jaundice? Look for jaundice in the sclera, palpebral conjunctiva, the lips, sublingual mucosa under the tongue, lower abdominal skin. Artificial light often distorts colors and marks, masks jaundice. Classification of jaundice. First, I will mention them, then we will talk about each one of them separately. Pathophysiological classification of jaundice. One, two, based on its debut and its clinical evolution. Two, 3. Based on conjugated bilirubin fractionation. 4. By its etiology. Based on its debut and clinical evolution, jaundice can be acute or chronic. As for based on conjugated bilirubin fractionation, it can be unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, which is conjugated bilirubin of less than 20% of the total bilirubin, to mixed hyperbilirubinemia, in which the conjugated bilirubin is from 20 to 50 percent of the total bilirubin, three conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, conjugated bilirubin is more than 50 percent of the total bilirubin. As for the jaundice classification in terms of etiology, it can be hereditary or acquired. What is the mechanism of post-hepatic obstructive jaundice? The mechanism can be intrahepatic or extrahepatic obstruction like lithiasis, pancreatic in terms of inflammation tumor, others like parasites, strictures, tumors, intra-extrahepatic biliary, atrage. Acquired post-hepatic obstructive jaundice. The clinical features in a patient with the, with acquired post-hepatic obstructive jaundice, one, icterus, which is generalized severe, and the color is greenish, progressing to brownish with pruritus and scratching marks. As for the urine is brown, beer, urobilinogen in the urine is absent or decreased and you will find also increased conjugated bilirubin and biliary salts. As for the stools, they are discolored as clay colored feces and for the splenomegaly is absent. The corbosier terrier sign can be present or absent. Same for the abdominal pain, fever, dyspeptic symptoms can be present or absent. As for conjugated hyperbilirubinemia is present, cholestasis enzymes, serum cholesterol is elevated and as for the transaminases can be normal or slightly increased. Altered blood coagulation tests can also be found. What about jaundice in terms of lithiasis, which also is one of the mechanisms for causing acquired post-hepatic obstructive jaundice? You will find a charcoal triad, which is biliary colic, going to fever, going to icterus. Hepatomegaly without distended palpable gallbladder, and as for the conjugated bilirubin, it is elevated, and also the cholestasis enzymes are increased elevated. In terms of jaundice in carcinoma of the pancreas head, the clinical features 1. icterus, which is of insidious onset, Without colic or fever, they, this icterus is persistent until greenish-brownish with nocturnal pruritus. The patient can present with fatigue and also important weight loss and upper abdominal pain. In terms of the liver, you may see hepatomegaly with positive corbusier terrier sign. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in the next video.